We continue to hear from folks on the Colorado Supreme Court's decision to kick former President Trump off the ballot, ruling him ineligible under the 14th Amendment. We start with a caller who says the court is getting ahead of itself. Trump has not been charged nor found guilty of insurrection. So whether you like him or not, it is not up to unelected justices to make that decision for the voters of Colorado or any other state. If we start down that slippery slope to totalitarianism where the government decides who runs for office, be it the school board up to the presidency, then America is no better than Russia or China or Iran. So we might as well shred the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. But Anonymous tells us all four of the justices in Colorado who voted to boot Trump off the ballot what, there won their retention election, so they are indeed elected officials after their initial appointments. Trump's removal isn't partisan, but based on real qualifications listed in the Constitution. Maybe he shouldn't have incited in an insurrection, doing nothing to stop it for 180 minutes, and then praising and supporting the felons who followed his orders, calling them patriots. All right, we're going to finish up with a rant from Mitchell, who tells us police should go after some of the smaller traffic offenses because it might head off trouble down the road. Every single day, I see drivers with expired tags or no license plates and most likely no insurance. Every single day, I see these drivers and others speeding, making unsafe lane changes and running red lights, sometimes with Metro cruisers right there to see it. I understand they have their hands full of collisions, but perhaps if they enforce traffic laws, we can get these unsafe drivers and probably some felons with warrants off the streets. And this is the place for you to be heard. The email address is the rant at fox5vegas.com. You can give us a call at 436-8285. Thank <laughs> you.